That's right, folks. Night Drive TV has added a 2002 Chevy Tahoe Z71. Join me in the surrounding hills of Las Vegas as we talk about the vehicle, future parts development, and more. You're watching Night Drive TV. As I approach 10,000 subs, guys, thank you so much for that. And I appreciate it if you can throw me a sub if you think what I'm doing is cool. But I'm going to talk about this very vehicle that I purchased for 4500 bucks. what mods I've done, what I'm going to do with it in the future. We threw a rooftop tent on it. Volk helped me uh, simulate an animal attack. <laughs> if I was in a ground uh, environment. So the, obviously that convinced me to have a roof tent. You'll not want to miss that. But basically then went out to the Spring Mountain Range, which is Red Rock, west of Las Vegas, to kind of show you around the vehicle. And I came upon Howard Hughes' old ranch house. Very interesting place. I will tell you it's a state park and you're going to get a little glimpse of it here. But, uh, you know, armed guards, government vehicles, cameras, you need a pass to get in. You can only walk to very restricted areas. And a lot of roving patrols has housing on site with air conditioning, satellites, power lines, but it's a park. I'm like, I just can't help it. I'm looking around and you know what I'm thinking. I'm like, Osama, Saddam, you up in here? So yeah, guys, in this one, I am going to do a walk around of the vehicle. I'm gonna kind of show you the current state that it's in. And then I'm going to later in the video kind of take you through those uh, steps. So guys, if you're interested in the GMT 800 uh, platform, uh, off-roading Suburbans and Tahoes of this generation, uh, you're going to want to watch this video and stick around also because I'm going to be developing some products uh, for this platform. And I'm already doing some custom headlights and some things for Corvette. I felt like the GM platform is, is something I wanted to continue to expand on. So, so yeah, real quick, we're going to jump outside. I'm going to do a walk around, kind of tell you and show you how I bought the vehicle um, in the condition that I bought it in. I got this vehicle for $4,500. I think it was a great uh, deal. I've got 142,000 miles on this right now. It was lifted. It was on 35s. It had some pretty rough lighting on it. Um, it had some tramp stamps uh, on it as well. <laughs> My friend called this a tramp stamp. <laughs> it was like some custom pinstriping was done. Um, had some interior pieces missing. Uh, had an engine light for knock sensors, um, ABS issue, uh, wheel sensor. So had a, a few little issues going on. The AC didn't work, um, just some small things. But overall, when I looked at the chassis, I felt like the chassis looked good. Um, it was clean underneath, of course. It's always been out west. And uh, it was on brand new 35s, literally like two month old 35s. Um, and it has a six inch drop bracket lift kit. And um, you know, it's kind of like the torsion drop. So you can see the torsions, the torsions are a bit exposed, um, but um, overall it was a pretty clean truck. Um, it looked like something I could work with. And um, so as you can see doing the walk around, I mean, the paint was pretty clean, nice white color. I love white vehicles. And uh, it was the Z71 package, so this does have the G80 in it. I did confirm that when I did the, te the uh, test drive. And um, everything's functioning as normal. Um, tested the four-wheel drive system, obviously. And so in this video, I'm going to kind of, now that I've done that walkthrough, I'm going to kind of take you through um, what I've done to the vehicle and where it started and a little bit of that process. As you know, Josh drives the, the other one over there, the Suburban. And... Uh, so we're going to be kind of collaborating. If you watch the channel, maybe you're an off-road guy. So I'm going to be doing a lot of different mods, guys. So uh, sponsor for the, all the welding and fabrication from Prime Weld. And uh, talking to a few other companies, which I won't say yet. And uh, we're going to see a lot more because obviously the Pathfinder took damages. And um, so, yeah, we're going to be focusing on this now. So, you know, we're going to see. I'm just throwing some initial stuff that I already have in here. Um, just a... A fridge uh, that runs off a battery. I have some 300 watt solar panels um, that I'm going to do. I have a lithium battery and I just put in some basic stuff, um, stove and things like that. So I just think it's a it's a platform you can really sink your teeth into, put some money into and heck with those payments, you know what I'm saying? Oh, don't want a payment. Yeah, I'd rather buy backup, <laughs> yeah. engine, transmission, transfer case, yeah. have it all, yeah. get it built and then when something goes, <laughs> Well, after a few mods, just with this area here, they actually were tilting upward. I kind of got them to, uh, well, I did get them to level out, so. But they do have an integrated turn signal, so I'm gonna wire that. I just need to get rolling today, but. 
Well, much better perspective for sure when it comes to the mirrors, so that's a huge upgrade. All right, so we're coming right along. Another day here. We're gonna work on getting this off. Gonna wet sand this off, see if I can buff this back. As you can see in just that short time, we've gotten right through there and it looks shiny because there's water. Took that right out. Now we're gonna go to uh, 1500 and I'm just gonna minimize the size of the scratches I left here and we're gonna make it a little easier for the buffer. You can see there's a gloss and then you can see it kind of gets a matte finish. All we gotta do is hit this with a buffer. I'm gonna use this process, it's a single stage. So this is a product I've used a number of times. I got this at SEMA. Um, it's called HD Uno. And the reason they call it Uno is because they claim it's a kind of a single step process when you use it with this pad. It says it cuts 1200, zero dust, easy on and off. So obviously we went up to 15, so. So as you can see, after a quick wipe down, we got our gloss back, and uh, no problem. The uh, the tramp stamp is gone. Well, this is the new addition here. This is the Smitty built Overland uh, Gen Two. So, what's I'm your, excited. You're excited. I'm excited. You're gonna camp out and overlook Vegas in this thing. Heck yeah. I don't know, Ace. Can you? You gonna figure this out they're all inside we have to get inside as i recall in videos all the goods are inside it's like a turkey get out of here <laughs> he wants in, <laughs> in here. i'm simulating what it feels like to have a wild animal poking at the rain cover because i get bulky look look this is, this is what it oh would be God. like He's all over the i'd place. be like what's that oh god what's outside Yeah, uh, the instructions are not very good. Well, it's a room, tons. It's about almost the width of a queen, but it's longer. He's mad, he wants to come in. Uh, Josh basically just told me, I'm, I'm gonna throw it up there. He said, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss it up there. We're gonna roll up on him. Christopher Reeves here. This is how it's gonna work. How what's gonna work? People want to see what's going on. They want the real. You just missed the real. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> this is the only protection I'm gonna need. That's all you're gonna need. <laughs> Does it? Well, how do you feel moving? I'm gonna feel By like yourself. it moves pretty, pretty easy. Right. Oh, he's just going out. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh, you're hitting. It's pretty good. People build cranes. <laughs> now we got to bolt it down, though. That might be yeah, terrible. Yeah, that could be interesting. Let's go, man. You can't do it. <laughs> now you're off. First part of the attack. He, he does not like the annex thing. It's stupid. It's the the Why veranda. Do Why do you need it? While he's doing that, we're trying to get Sierra to do a bounce test to see if it can what take it. <laughs> no way. I don't know what you're trying to get, dude. Everybody hates this. <laughs> oh, a cool, a oh. We're all getting kind of ready. To go. So I've never seen anybody use those straps on the tent for something. That's a damn good idea. So I have to give Josh a good one on that. There's Yayo, Clyde, Phoenix, Lala. Yeah. Y'all can fight and there's nowhere to go. Like it's just going to be to the death. Like the suburban i got that extra spot up front yeah so you know i want to take my roof basket and kind of like squeeze it down yeah so i might have to you know obviously yeah. add some mounts there yeah but mount the basket up front and then i can yeah. put like all little, my little bearings i got like four big storage bins yeah. back there so if i could yeah. take those out and put those up front on yeah. the top i would be good to go we may get out there we're gonna have to see but they're gonna be all set up oh yeah projectors canopy 
jacuzzi. You fought with me about booge camping. Oh man, that's not camping, having DVD player. What? DVD player, got Scooby-Doo. Can I say right. that? See, oh. what he understands now, satisfying all parties, is probably beneficial to his experience out there. So he decided to, a little compromise, a compromise on his booge status. Because it's not camping to him from the 80s, but it's camping to them from 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need some huh? Huh? What? Help me. Help me. Help me. Okay, bud. I've got some bad news. You're all set up. All set up. The bad news is. All right. Waking up next to the lake. Pretty cool. Interesting little cloud layers. Put up the sides. Keep some of the wind out. But overall, it was pretty, pretty good experience. Please, can you help me? With what? Get shells. Get shells. Yes. Bye, Claudia. Bye. Thank you for visiting. And you better come down here and help me. I am. Okay. Oh, whoa! Oh, be careful! Oh, whoa! Out the water. It's oh, nice. A little chilly, but it's nice. <laughs> oh, man, that was getting into it. So folks, after a quick setup, the roof tent has held through the off-roading, proving that the Z71 factory rack is up to the task. We concluded our one night stay and it was back to work. So far, the Tahoe has proven a great vehicle for us and we look forward to suggestions on making the suspension setup more adequate. We are thinking coilovers up front to eliminate the exposed torsion bars and then match that with a capable rear damper. Please give us your suggestions in the comments, folks. We will update in future videos as the vehicles evolve. For now, though, thank you for watching the update on the Tahoe, and please look out for future product prototyping I have in mind. As always, thank you for watching Night Drive TV. Catch you on the next one.